cutting clear acrylic. Get a lot of questions about that. What, what settings do I need and can I do it with my diode laser? Well, no, not really. Not clear acrylic. There, there are some ways you can kind of sort of do it, but it's, you're not going to get very good results. So what I'm going to show here is how to cut uh, clear acrylic. It's quarter inch. And I'm going to be doing it on my Monport 40 watt laser here. And I'm going to make a couple of unicorns. I already made one here. And of course, I probably dropped a broke tail off. But then I made a little bitty one just to see how fine it would do. And I played around to see how smooth I could get the cut. So I'm going to show you all this coming up. I'm Roger. Welcome to the laser room in the loft above the shop. So there, mouthful. So here again we're going to be talking about cutting clear acrylic and I have some scraps here that I've been uh, playing with and cutting some shapes out of. So here is uh, what I cut my unicorns out of. So you can see the little one is there. Uh, uh, but I wanted smooth cuts. I wanted the edges to be nice and smooth. So instead of doing it in one pass, I'm doing it in two passes. And I'll show you the settings and everything here. And you can cut out letters. For example here is an R. And the edges are nice and smooth. And to top it all off, this is not brand new acrylic. This is uh, scraps from something that was cut down that was removed from something else. And it's been weathered and so it's not all pristine and new. Which makes it a little bit more of a challenge, but that's fine because I still ended up with some good results. So I'll take you on the computer here and I'll show you how I get these settings and what settings I'm going to use and how I got this shape. So here we are in light burn. This is my uh, little unicorn silhouette here. Uh, I just grabbed a, a picture off of uh, the internet and traced it. Okay, so how did I do that? Well, I'll show you how I did that. Let me delete this. And I'm going to bring in my graphic, which happens to be this unicorn right here. So it looks like that. Well, I don't want it like that. I want to trace that outline so I can cut the outline of it. So if you right click on that and go down here to trace image, there's a lot of different settings you can play with here. But just for a basic, we're going to cut that out. Then I want to delete the original image after the trace. So I have that turned on. Just click OK. So there I am. Now I wanted to resize that. So I just made this 90 millimeters high. Make sure my padlock was locked there. And there is my unicorn. My cuts for this line. Two passes. Four millimeters per second and 50% power. Okay, how did I arrive at that? Uh, Monpork su will supply a sheet with their laser that will give you some guidelines on what to use for cutting speeds. And what they say to use for clear acrylic actually just acrylic, is for 5 millimeter a speed of 4 millimeters per second and 45 percent power. Uh, since this was somewhat thicker, it's actually almost six and a half millimeter, I had to mess with the settings a little bit and I found that it was better to do it in two passes because it gave me a, uh, a better edge on it. So that's the explanation of why I'm using two passes here. So just something you can try out if you want to uh, play with some acrylic. Now we'll get back on here. We'll put this on the laser and cut it out. Okay, so now we got that laid out. Here's the scrap I'm going to be using. As you can see, it is by no means crystal clear. It's got some crazing in it a little bit. And it's been scuffed in that. But the scrap I'm going to use for this little demonstration. So we'll get this set on the laser here next. So I've got a pretty good idea where I need to have this set. I'm using absolute coordinates. And I have my uh, projects under the center of the page. So I need to set this in here and I need to frame it. Yeah, I'm off just a hair, but we can fix that pretty easy. Okay, so we're all in bounds. I'll just close the cover here and we'll hit start.
Okay, it's finished. Take it out of there. I dropped it, and that's where I broke the last one. But here's our cutout in the uh, sheet here. Now I'll retrieve that off the floor. So here's our unicorn. As you can see, the edges are nice and smooth. There's no roughness to them or anything. Again, this is uh, from a scrap and a used piece so there is some crazing and it. it's been out in the weather. This is actually the acrylic off of an old golf cart windshield. So it's something to play with so there it is. Okay, so you may have seen when I did the little view down through the window a lot of smoke rolling around of course that's going right out the exhaust fan here. Um, this does have air assist on it and I do have the air assist on very very low mostly just to keep any fumes and stuff away from the lens. It keeps it helps keep the lens clean. If uh, you don't have air assist you're going to need to periodically clean your lens especially if you're doing wood because that uh, generates a lot of smoke and brown stuff that likes to get all over your lens so you're going to have to make sure you keep your lens clean. Uh, again I'm demonstrating this on the Monport 40 watt CO2 laser because trying to cut acrylic on a dial laser like I say, it's not completely impossible, but it's extremely difficult. So if you're looking to do a lot of clear acrylic cutting, you're better off with a CO2 laser. And this here again, my Monport 40 watt. And if you'd like to get one of these guys, there'll be a link in the description on where you can buy one. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. I'm Roger, in the laser room in the loft above the shop. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.